Boketov Kharim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. According to RT this morning, six people have been found alive underneath the avalanche of the hotel that was hit in uh, central Italy the other day. What we reported after the 10 earthquakes that struck this region, no doubt loosening the snow that caused the avalanche. 30 were feared dead, but six have been found alive. Also moving into other news, a uh, continued buildup of arms and troops in Eastern Europe along Russia's border, even with President-elect's inauguration scheduled for today. A lot of uh, fear that there is going to be protests, mass protests to try to undermine uh, President-elect Donald Trump taking office. And you just cannot help but wonder why the Obama administration continues to deploy more and more military hardware on Russia's border. We have right here uh, another huge military deployment, 400 soldiers, 24 AH-64 uh, Apache attack helicopters already happen, happening on his uh, schedule or his uh, Twitter page here showing all of these are going out and will be deployed in February on the uh, border with Russia. Uh, very concerning events indeed. Moving right along as well, hundreds of German soldiers prepare to deploy to the Baltics for NATO. Uh, Panzengrad soldiers lined up in the cold to farewell Germany ahead of their deployment in Lithuania. They will form part of a massive NATO force in the Baltic states. And it is a massive force. You know, they, they've been calling this uh, war games. And now, just by the way, uh, uh, yesterday we got the news as well, Ukraine had passed a law that allows uh, foreign troops to enter their soil for war games. That is just a bit concerning to me that NATO is moving forces in there. You know, even if President-elect Donald Trump does make it into office, you cannot help but wonder if something is not still going to go forward with this aggression towards Russia. And I have to say it's an aggression towards Russia because Russia does not seem to be the one doing the aggression. Now, no doubt NATO is very concerned because Russia has responded for all of the um, heavy equipment being put in Poland and Latvia and Lithuania, Estonia. So Russia responded by putting nuclear uh, armed missiles in Kaliningrad. And I have realized that this may also have caused a grave concern for NATO. And that may be something that NATO is planning on trying to do is to take out Kaliningrad itself. If not Russia directly, they may uh, merely be looking at trying to take Kaliningrad away from Russia. I cannot say for sure that that's the case, but it, you cannot help but wonder. Also, Nigeria moved on a contingent of 200 men and air assets, including fighter jets, to Senegal, where it is expected to operate in Gambia. Well, it's not just a matter of... A not just a matter of an expectation, they have already entered into Gambia and they have already uh, put their forces out there and fully in force uh, dealing with the, the, the situation that is going on in Gambia. Now I can't say which side is which, which one is good, which one is bad, but nonetheless uh, Senegal has entered into Gambia and, uh, and of course they definitely have the firepower, the manpower and everything else uh, uh, Gambia is a very tiny nation, just kind of embedded right in the middle of Senegal. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We will be airing more broadcasts today. One specific message I'm going to be bringing out, it is a not just a prophetic message, but I've got a message that I need to really share with you here on Israeli News Live because of the interview that my wife did with uh, Harold Kautz. That is our interview that we'll be posting today. It was on her channel originally. We do have a little bit of a sound difficulty uh, with Harold. He speaks softly, so it's harder to pick up his voice. We will be airing that here on Israeli News Live. It is about the black goo. And I am going to be doing a special broadcast before that comes out because there's some Christians, not all, but there are some that think that because he's a scientist and not a professing Christian that my wife should have never interviewed him. But the fact of the matter is he has some very serious information that needs to be shared with the world because it's things that are being used inside every Catholic church in Europe as well as at Mecca. It is a very demonic black goo substance that has a very scientific effect that we want to talk, talk and share with you. And Jan is not the first Christian to interview uh, people like uh, Carl, uh, excuse me, Harold Kautz as well as others. I'm Stephen Benoon. Shalom. Have a good day. We'll be talking to you again soon.